We just got in the small wig wireless control sling handle. I've been waiting on this thing for a minute since they announced it. Uh, as you can see right here, I have just the regular handle that came with the RS3 Pro. And then I have my Ninja Atmos right here. So we're gonna take off this handle. So we're just gonna do this. I'm gonna take this off. And this is my, my, my old handle. And then we're gonna use an Allen key to, to loosen this up. Because like on my RS2, I have the Tilter one. So the Tilter one works on here, but it doesn't work. If you watched uh, my last video, which you can probably go up to right here and look, it's a piece that's right here that it hits. So it's not able to uh, turn completely all the way 360 degrees. So that was a problem. So I'm only able to use that with the RS2. But I absolutely love the handle being here because I like to control the grip and be able to, you know, when I'm going. So it's weird for me to do it down here. So we ordered this one from B&H and it came in and we're gonna unbox this real quick and we're gonna put this on. So let's do that now. There we go. And I'm using the Glide Gear helmet cam so I can have hands free right here. If you haven't watched that video, you should definitely check up in the uh, link right now and you can watch that video. All right, so we get the signal module right here. So we got a power on button. So this is gonna go on the left side and then you got a little NATO clamp here that you can put uh, slide something else on. And then you have a USB type C and then you actually have the handle by itself. Now the tilter one is just a little more robust, but this one still feels great. It has nice uh, grip, grip teeth right here. So you can maneuver it wherever you want to. So it's built very well though. And then this grip, this piece right here, you can take it off and somebody else can control the actual gimbal, you know, wirelessly like that. Ain't that cool? So you can have somebody that using a, uh, a field monitor to be able to control the gimbal while you're working. So it makes it so much easier. And then to charge it up, I believe you got this USB type C port right here. Yep, right there. And then you just put that on and charge the grip up. And then this is magnetic, so it goes right back on. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on. We're gonna slide this over. So first we're going to put the NATO reel on. In order to put this on, we're gonna to have to loop it around like this and make sure this is unlocked. And then we wanna lock, lock it back up right here. Here you go. And it should look like that. So it just clamps around and then the front light is here. Oh, uh, yeah. And then let's put the handle on. The handle should go like this, and we're gonna maneuver it out. Let's maneuver it out some more. Let's put that on. Yep, and it snaps right in. Do this have like, yeah, it just has a locking mechanism right here, as you can see. So it goes on. Then we just tighten it down. and then we can remove this back up like so so now let's feel how it is all right we need to remove it just a little bit more I need more room right here let's go for this okay it feels pretty nice not bad All right, Let's see if it'll turn on without me charging it up. So is it, the Ronin has this auto locking feature, so right here, turn it on. There you go. All right, so make sure when you are putting this on, make sure it's on correctly, because once the gimbal comes on, you can see the red light that's on right here. And so now we'll put this back on here and we'll see if we can turn it on. I'll just take it off because it's magnetic. There we go, small rig right there. Mmm, yep. Look, it's controlling it. Oh man, that's so cool, check that out. Oh, look at that. I can control it wirelessly. Man, this is so much better. Bro, so now I can have somebody like, 
I can be moving and I can do the do the moves. Dude, that is so cool. That wireless function. You can start and stop record. So here I'm gonna turn this on. Alright, here we go. Boom right there. Let's start the record. Oh no memory card. But it does work. able to move the gimbal wirelessly and then like this thing is magnetic so boom and now we can put it up and now we can move the gimbal wirelessly and I'm back baby yeah I'm back oh yeah that is so dope mm. yep definitely a must for sure yeah I wish they had some type of safety thing so this wouldn't pop out. So hopefully the magnet is good enough to where it won't come off. Thing here. Turn it down. You're good to go, bro. Yes. Check that out. Oh yeah. Boom. Small rig handle. and it turns blue. So it turns blue when it's connected. And then you're able to maneuver it up and down however you want to. Just that way. And then you double tap it here to get it recentered. And you can change your modes. Pan tail follow, and then you got your next one is gonna be FPV. So we just change those modes right there. One other cool feature, if you have a wireless transmitter like a Hollyland, and you put it on here with this Atmos. Well, if you look right here, that is something, right? Hmm, what could it be? We're gonna loosen this up. We're gonna push this button down. We're gonna slide it off. And oh my gosh, if you got a wireless transmitter, now I can control the whole system and have a monitor right here and be booming. Man, or if you wanted to have, you wanted to keep this handle and put it back on here to have somebody wireless controlling your gimbal here, you can control your gimbal here with a wireless transmitter and you'll be good to go. Bro, you can't beat that. Look at that. And then you just put that back on. Just like so. Coming on the needle rail. Boom, right there, it locks in and then it screws, tightens here. And there you go. That's a modular system, dog. So cool. Thank y'all for joining in for that video. I hope you liked it. If there's something that you like, definitely comment below and let me know how I did. Cause that really helps me to see if I should continue on and hit that like button because it helps with the algorithms uh, for it to get seen so more people can see this video. I think it was dope. I don't know about you, but definitely hit that bell button so you can get notified when I post again. That's why you should hit that bell button. And special shout out to Glide Gear for supplying me with the helmet cam. It made that point of view or product review so much easier. If that's something you like, definitely comment in the uh, comment below, let me know. And thank you to BNH for sending me the small rig sling out. I am going to be using this a whole lot because it's going to make my job a lot easier for sure. So uh, stay tuned for the Glide Gear video and stay tuned for an infield video using this small rig handle. So uh, yeah, the links will be in the description below. So I'm going to see y'all in my uh, next video. Yes, sir. Peace out.